landed the airplane. Hi, welcome to Onyx RC. My name is Martin from Report, and today we'll be talking about my ultra lifestyle airplane. All right, let's begin. This is the ultra lifestyle RC airplane I designed and built. It was inspired by the Cold Firefly ultralight airplane. This airplane flies really good and we're about to see that shortly. But now I'm just going to talk about the airplane. It's really too big to hold. I don't think the camera is getting all of this right. So I think I'll just take the wings off. But yeah, that's it. Easy on it. RC. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough. And there it is. Okay. Alright, so that's the RC airplane. Now I'm going to talk about things I did that I just tried for the first time. You know, things I have not done before. Uh, first, the most noticeable, or the most remarkable to me, is the wing mount. My wing mounts in a way that allows the wing flex up and down. So this is what I meant by uh, the wing mount allowing the wings to flex. Alright, so that's the wing strut. And you can see it. Dripping down and up. So it can actually come this way and pull up. And the wing strut determines the angle of dihedral. So when the wing strut goes in there, it's stuck this way. But when I take it off, then the wing collapses. And the pin that holds the wing in place. This pin here. And the wing is separate. I have a servo hanging at the bottom of this. You can see it there. I tried as much as I could to avoid this, but it looked like I was stuck having to do it this way. That servo controls the rudder, so it's right in the middle of the fuselage, and the push rod passes through, through this room down to the rudder, so it's pretty low and the servo has to sit up straight. Uh, the elevator servo is just right next to the rudder servo, so I have two servos on this fuselage and the other two servos on each wing. So of all the electronics this airplane is making use of, I have a 25-pound Tonichi ESC. Yeah, like I said, two 9-gram servos. What else? And the motor, a race car, 2208-1100 kV and an 8-inch propeller, 8x6. Alright, I have the elevator push rod just under the boom going straight to the elevator. The elevators are linked to each other, so I only need to push one elevator to move the other one. I don't need to, you know, to push rods on both, so they're both linked. And I have no tail wheel on this, I have a skip. Skip. And a rugged wheel. Super rugged. Alright, so this, uh, the landing gear of this airplane is homemade too, and it's very rugged. I see. Um. So, let's see how rugged this is. Um, okay. I have this. Very well. A little more. And another flyer. It's carrying all of them. This plane should be over two kilograms now. <clears throat> wow. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty rugged. All right. Okay, I was just putting that away. And I think flight of the airplane was cool. So what happened? I took the airplane to the field, and like I normally do, I start with a taxi test, then a hop test. Taxi test, 
half turns and then a mini fight. Then I did a hop test and you know Till Jackets love to tip over. I didn't stop on time and the main gear got hot in dirt and the plane tipped over and I broke one of the wing mounts. Yeah, it's something that happens with this kind of wing mount, you know, it's made of wood. So what happened when during the nose uh, tip over, I broke one of the wing mounts. Uh, I didn't stop on time and so the wheels got seized and the airplane flipped over, tipped over, sorry. And it's broken, I can't continue the test with this so I have to fix it and so mating flight is coming up uh, after the fix so it broke and I quickly fixed it and then I continued the mating flight and the mating flight was really enjoyable it was smooth it was fun you know those planes that fly great the first time uh, let's see what happened in the video battery mm. all right so let's Wow, it flies just like an ultra light, so slow. And I'm on 50% throttle right now. Don't go worldwide. You have low battery. All right, so I'm going to land the aircraft now because I'm having low battery issue. After the mating flight of the aircraft, I realized why I was having difficulty landing the airplane. Uh, the left servo got burnt in midair. It's very hot. So it got stuck and I think that was why I kept having the excessive left roll when I tried to land. Alright, so before I built this airplane, I designed it. I designed it on SOLIDWORKS, you know. I made it look 
uh, similar to a cold firefly ultralight airplane but it does vary from the cold firefly you know the tapered nose the dihedral the angular dihedral and what else uh, that's basically it you know the cold firefly has a more swept tail mine doesn't but other than that it pretty looks like a cold firefly and right now it it has all the servers installed including the wing servers and the landing gear with the tail skit uh, let's see how much that weighs all together without the battery and the ESC and you know the rest so that's the weighing scale initialized as zero so I'm going to hook it there and raise it up uh, wow it weighs three 75 all right i do hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like you know click the thumbs up button just like and comment and drop your comments on the comment section i would love to read your comment and click the subscribe button if you haven't just you know click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell it's going to help me do more yeah it's going to help me do more and let me know what you think about the airplane and what you think I can do with it, you know. Yeah, thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. Before we go, this is the way. I see. Okay, that's not what I meant. Yeah, this one. Easy on it.